Hey guys, on today's show, we're going to discuss the Buddy Stick Pro Deluxe Package. Yeah, 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 I get it. A lot of other people have done videos on this, but nobody's done this on the video yet. And so stay tuned to check it out. That's right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. So like I said, guys, this is kind of a uh, impromptu quick show. And it's something that we uh, kind of discovered today and we were playing with it. Now, I had to actually, you know, I had to actually go off and purchase my Buddy Hex, but I've, I've got it right here. And uh, it's a fantastic little antenna. And I'm going to show you why. And we figured out a couple cool little tricks. We took it out to the field because we, tr we tried tuning it up here at the house. And with all the other stuff that's going on, this and that, I was like, you know what? Let's go out someplace where there's absolutely nothing around us. So uh, I want to put a big shout out to uh, W5 or yeah W5LIC Anthony, my buddy uh, here in town, for uh, coming out with me and uh, helping me play with this uh, this antenna and getting it really tuned down in a killer way. And we 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 we've kind of discovered some cool ways to really tweak it. Uh, and no one else has talked about this yet. And I want to get this out before somebody else figures it out. So you heard it here first. And uh, what we did is I need to just kind of grab the uh, setup here. What we found out when you get the uh, when you get the Buddy Stick Pro, you get your little uh, this is your your uh, wire assembly set up for the uh, counterpoise, and you've heard other people talk about there's color codes there there the, there's little color coded beads for whatever uh, band you're trying to tune to, and by lengthening or shortening this wire, you're able to tune it. And then, you know, or not tune it, but you're able, to, yeah, you're able to tune it and kind of hone it in. But you have to have a decent little antenna analyzer to do that. Well, we figured out something else today. And there is a micro tuning feature that is not talked about in the instructions that we were able to figure out on this. And I got some video. I'm going to just going to cut away to some of the video that we shot today. But when you're lengthening the uh, cable, of course, you can. Uh, of course, do it like you know, like like this. We have you, you set out the cable to a certain a certain length. Well, what we found out is this little center section here. If you wind around inside that center section, little increments at a time, like half turns, one turn, whatever, and then go back and check your SWR. We were able to get the SWR down. We and we only did twenty meters and forty meters, but I'm pretty sure it would work on any of the other bands you have your Buddy Stick Pro set up for. Uh, we got it down to 1.06 SWR, uh, completely blown away, because going by the original method of just using this outer section and lengthening, shortening by this, it gave us results, but we were like sitting at 1.4, 1 1.2, you know, still decent SWR, but by honing it in by using this little micro section here and just winding that around, we were able to get it down even further and just go in little increments until we got the exact SWR reading we wanted on, on the analyzer. Uh, we also noticed a couple things. And again, this is all being in the video I'm going to show you here. It's just going to be a couple clips we did and some screenshots. You know, he says to keep it up at two, at two feet on this. This cable needs to be two feet off the ground. We found that in some, in, in some instances, I have it on video, we lowered it down on that stick that we purchased. Uh, I think Shane... Uh, this side of the radio, he he talked about going over to, to Lowe's and pick up one of those little uh, electric fence posts, and that's a fantastic. I mean, if you're going to have this antenna, you've got to have one of those little sticks to do this with because it makes life a lot simpler. And by lowering it down, we had it on the very top the whole time. I was trying to keep it up as high as possible, but by lowering it down, in some instances, maybe only 18 or 19 inches at the other end, our SWR dropped, and we got really killer results out of that. So I can sit here and ramble on, but let's jump over to the clips that I got, and I'll come back here for final thoughts, and we'll just get this party started. So what we discovered out here, when you're tuning this thing with the analyzer, you make your wraps here, but we're making micro wraps here, and we got the antenna down. This is on 20 meters right now. We got it down to 1.13 SWR. So that's pretty fantastic. So if you're going to tune this thing with your with your analyzer, uh, remember to do micro tunings with this using this little section of the of the wire wrap. You can really fine tune this thing right down to where you want it. And I'm pretty happy. I think at 1.13, I 
I think we're good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push my luck and try to get any any lower. That's pretty fantastic. So there you go. You got your first pro tip. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more thing here. We did some more adjustments. We got down to 1.06. And just give me one second, I'll show you how we adjusted it on the pole. We came down here, we've got it on the on the pole here. Now from this from we so far we've been mounting it way up here at the top. We brought it down. As you can see here, it's a little uh, not quite two feet off the ground. But right here at the end, we got that set up. That's how we got that 1.06 SWR on this for FT8. So I know they suggest keeping it at two feet above minimum, but I, I highly suggest trying to play with the height a little bit. Check it on your analyzer and see how that works out. Because that right there is giving us a killer reading. I'll come back over here and do it live so you can see it. We're still sitting here at 1.06 SWR. So there we go. All right guys, so we did another test here, a little more tweaking with that same method. We're now on the uh, phone area of the band, 14.175. And the best we can get it down to is 1.12 SWR. I still think that's pretty amazing. All right, so I, I hope there was enough there on the footage to kind of show you what we were doing but we basically just you know played that one little middle section and just did micro turns or micro wraps around that go back and check the swr and make adjustments accordingly to get it down we were able to tweak it down there, there's a there's a limit we couldn't get it down to perfect one one to one uh but i think 1.12 and the other the other measurements we'd gotten there were pretty kick-ass uh so if you get one of these and you have a decent little analyzer you know, it's better to have two people out there with you to do it so one person can sit there and tweak it while the other person pays attention to what's going on. But I'll tell you what, uh, I think this is going to be a game changer uh, for this antenna. And I hope that if you guys get one of these and try it out, I mean, our next thing to do now is we just got to get it on the air and see what we can do with it. And uh, we're still working on those parts. We got a couple of little things in, in the mix here. But uh, I hope that that helps out. You know, I don't, I don't know uh, if anybody else... Figure that out before this video came out or not. I'm not even sure if uh, Chris or Buddy Pole even knew about to think about that. Or if that was if that's what that's there for. Uh, but we just try kind of tried it out. We just kind of experimented a little bit as you do in ham radio, and the uh, results were pretty kick ass. I mean, I, I'm very happy with uh, how this turned out, and we've got great low SWR on on this uh, on this antenna. It's ready to get plugged into a radio and get used. So. We're looking forward to doing that next, uh, but like I said, I, I didn't want to go off to a whole other video uh, showing you all how to build it. By the way, building it takes about eight minutes. <laughs> it's pretty quick once you get used to all the parts and stuff, so it's really fast to deploy. Uh, but I, I didn't want to go through the whole spiel of showing you guys the antenna. If you know about it, you know about it, all right? And there's so many other guys that got this thing ahead of time, ahead of, ahead of the mass production. Um, I was able to get it the night that they opened it up for sale. I purchased it right then and there the second I found the link. And uh, went over, and I, I guess it came in like, I don't know, two and a half, three days later. It got it right out to me. Uh, I'm very happy with the purchase. Um, looking forward to the uh, the uh, Buddy Hex at some point. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Chris. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I, I, I will, we'll get some more videos out there. I, I didn't want to just rehash the same thing. Here's how you build the, here's how you build the Buddy Stick. All the videos out there now, you either know how to do it or you don't. And when you get it, it's really, it's really, really easy. Uh, but uh, I am going to do another video kind of showing some things I saw other guys not talking about with the Buddy Stick Pro. And just, you know, because if, if you're spending that kind of money on something, you kind of want to know everything about it. And uh, aside from the fact that, you know, it's very light, very, very light in time. The whole thing, I haven't actually weighed it. I'm going to go throw it on a scale before I do the next video. Uh, fairly light. So that with a, with a small radio and battery and something and, you know, and whatever else you need your coax. You're ready to roll. You can go up anywhere with this thing and set it up and be ready to rock and roll. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I want to get this video uh, shot and rendered and get it uploaded to YouTube here so you guys can check it out and hopefully benefit from the experimentation that we did today. we got more stuff coming out. And until next time, this is Ham Radio for Non-Techies, and we are clear.